All right, everybody, welcome back to Barbells and Burnouts. I look blurry. Do you look blurry? I think I look blurry. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm good. All right, so Floyd is here helping me with this issue that I have. Remember you guys, I told you guys about the uh, car overheating, but I went online and ordered a, where is it, Blox radiator and a Blox racing radiator fan to go with it. So right now, we are about to mount it and put it in there. Excuse the dirty oil pan. We're going to use it to catch the uh, radiator fluid. But yeah, so we're going to mount it in there, see if we can get the car running again today. Because it runs, but it overheats very quickly. And that's because the neck over here on the cap of the radiator, it's cut to where if you put on the radiator cap, I don't think I have it in my pocket. I'll have it right here. So if you put it on the radiator cap, it spins and pops. That should never happen. I should never be able to do that. So we're gonna switch that out. So let's get it done. All right, so we currently are trying to get the hoses off that run to the transmission from the fan because I think this is a Honda, so it's trans-cooled as well. But it sucks right now. All right, guys. So uh, we ran into an issue. We pulled the radiator. Let me see the radiator real quick. We uh, pulled the radiator, but the OEM radiators have lines that run to the trans, and it's trans cooled. I didn't know that Civics had trans coolers on it. I guess it does. So the issue is the blocks radiator does not have points where you can cool the trans for the trans cooler. Oh, I'm burning my hand in the sun. But um, yeah, there's no points on there for the trans fluid to run. So I'm calling a friend and waiting for him to call me back. Um, luckily, we do have an OEM radiator here that we might be able to throw on, but we're gonna figure out first. So yeah. So we basically decided instead of putting the um, blocks radiator on there, uh, because of the blocks radiator does not have a trans is not built to uh, be a trans cooler as well. I decided I'm just gonna put the OEM one that I have. I had a, a secondary OEM radiator. Um, so I'm gonna just put that in one for right now and order a trans cooler online because I'd rather the car running than sit and wait. So yeah, so right now we're just throwing the radiator back in and making sure it's good. We rinsed it out and everything. And yeah, so look at Floyd's car. By the way, you know, shout out to Floyd for coming out to help us out. You know, got the car looking nice. We're gonna get this car looking nice soon, but. All right, guys, so um, we got the fan and the radiator back on there. So currently, we're just bleeding it and filling it back up with water for coolant and she should be good to go to ride around so yeah I ain't trying to take your front end off <laughs> but this is gonna suck Nice and cool too. Y'all see that? She's nice and cool. Foot is still full. <laughs> God, we this car is so slow. Yeah, she probably needs a resonator <laughs> right now. Really slow. Gotta get used to that low life. <laughs> the tests are kind of climbing. Yeah, you see. Yeah. Which is weird because the fans on. It's a hot 
Oh yeah, the AC's blowing a little cool. May or may not have been the oil pan. I think it was. <laughs> oh, I don't do this. Set the oil pan to the middle. Oh my gosh. All right, so bad news. Something back there, I have no idea what it is, is spraying and blowing. The temps started rising. Oh, he's crushing me. But the temps started rising. Something back behind the intake is spraying right now. So we have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's oil. No, it's, it's the water, but... I have no idea what that is. I don't know if it's... Oh, I'm gonna have to take the intake off. Like the whole intake part. Manifold off. It looks like. No idea what that is right there. Oh my gosh. Well, that's an L. Alright, so we had an issue where we think it's the what? What did he say it was? The, um,. The coolant lines behind there by the water pump, yeah, idle air control. the idle air control hose or something back there in the back is busted. Um, oh my gosh, this screen's so dirty. Oh my gosh. So basically, um, we might have to just let the car cool down. I was like, okay, I'll just let it cool down and get it done tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna end this video right here now. But we took care of the coolant. Uh, we took care of the radiator. So the car is that much closer to being done. It's just like the small things right now. So um, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, sub. Um, I should be getting that. I keep saying it, but uh, we're getting ever closer. That website, the Barbells and Burnouts. Barbells and Burnouts. Bur barbells and Burnouts. T -t -t Today, Junior! <laughs> website should be up soon. Um, so stay peeled out for that. Stay peeled out for more great content. I don't know if you guys can hear the firecrackers going on in the background. But it is 4th of July, so happy 4th of July to everybody. And I will catch you guys later, alright?